Happy Monday. It is 7.30 a.m. Super duper fired up today. It is day 14 here in Thailand. Wow, we've been here for two weeks. Time flies. It hasn't even felt like two weeks. It felt like it's only been a few days. And we're gonna be here for another, I think, 22 or 23 days here in Thailand. And you know, as I'm walking here on this beach this morning, I just think about all the things that I'm so thankful for. And it's not even the materialistic things, it's just the basic things that I have, you know? The lungs I have to breathe, the two hands I have to actually hold this camera, the eyes I have to see this beautiful world, you know? The two feet I have to walk on the sand. I mean, that's it, I'm just so thankful for those little things. And I wanna ask you guys, what are you thankful for? You know, I believe living in a grateful and a thankful state of mind is absolutely critical to live a happy life. So what are you thankful for? Wanna show you guys where I'm at? I don't think I've really shown this beach, really. Uh, so we're in Koh Lanta, and the name of this beach is actually one of the longest stretches of beach and probably the best beach here in the whole entire island. Uh, it's very long and it's good for swimming and it's where all the resorts and a lot of the hotels are lined up on the on the beachfront here but uh, yeah here it is this is Fra A Beach now it's really hard to pronounce for a lot of foreigners so they actually have an English name called Long Beach not to be mistaken for Long Beach California okay but it goes all the way back there for a couple miles and it goes all the way back over there for a couple miles too. So very long stretch. It's the one of the coolest, nicest beaches I've ever been to. And I like this area of the beach because it's a little rocky down there. It's very sandy, so it's actually better for swimming over the here. But over here, it's very rocky. Right now it's low tide, as you can see. And yesterday, I was swimming somewhere along there and a fish jumped out. And it was about maybe a foot and a half to two feet long. So that shows me, you know, fish usually hang out where there's structure. And surprisingly, shore fishing is not that popular here in Thailand. So I can't wait to get my rod and reel. I actually brought my rod and reel from California over here to do some, do some shore fishing, see if I can catch some fish. So going back to my talk, I know a lot of you watching back at home going, man, that's so cool for you, David. That's cute, that's nice, but I don't know if that's possible for me. First of all, it's all in your thinking. Anything is possible, you know seven eight years ago I never would have imagined I would have this kind of lifestyle where I can just have the freedom and The money to travel and do whatever it is that I want to do So I want to be a light a story an example to let you know that if I can do it You can definitely do it too, you know, and it's all about just The world is just full of so many opportunities it really is and you just got to get out there and find these opportunities take a hold of them and run with them anyways that's my motivational talk for the day time to go get some breakfast here's a shot of all the hotels each one of these is a little hotel here got some people running in the morning look at how empty the beach is there's another shot of these little beach resorts each one of these sections is one resort right here this is the one that we're at called the good days pretty cool we stayed at another one a little bit further down over here somewhere called the Lanta Casarina the other day but they didn't have any uh, long-term stays and that's our room right there Lily's still sleeping in I always like to let her sleep in especially on vacation because she wakes up so early in the mornings back at home and as you can see just a few steps away from the beach here's the breakfast area can't get bored of this view. I right, just finished having breakfast, but note to self, do not have Western food in Thailand. Just to make sense. We're gonna be heading into the co-working space here called Cohub, and gonna do a little work today. Mainly just going there because it has a faster internet. That way I can upload my videos to my video editor back at home. Wanna give a shout out to Richard. Brother, if it wasn't for you, these vlogs would not be getting completed, so. There's no way I can do all of this and uh, edit videos at the same time um, with the kind of just running around that I've been doing. So thank you to you, my man. Uh, those of you that have been watching all the vlogs that you've been seeing lately here in Thailand, 
90% uh, of them have been edited by my video editor, and I've, I've really only edited maybe one or I think two of those videos so far. Pink Scoopy, I am falling in love with you. You are so much fun to drive. Nice little cat in the morning. <laughs> All right, just leaving here at Cohub. I love working at this co-working space. It's seriously so cool. There's something phenomenal that goes on when you come to this space and work around 30, 40, 50 other digital nomads. You know, everyone's just hustling, everyone's on the computer, and there's so many people from all different backgrounds and all different kind of businesses, and it's cool to see everyone working. So it's very, very motivating, you know? So I like, definitely like working here, and it's a lot of fun, and I love the internet speed, but, we are now leaving Cohub and we're heading into Saladan Village and gonna be checking out some other cool activities and things to do for the next few days. We're going diving in a couple of days again. We're gonna go swim with elephants. We're gonna go to the Emerald Cave. We might do some rock climbing. I don't know. Whatever she wants to do. We're gonna do everything he says. Yes. <laughs> About to get on the bike with my booty. Here we go right now. Ready, honey? Yes. Where are we going? We're gonna go to... Saladan Village. Village. All right, we are actually back here in Saladan Village. Actually, the village is down that way, but there's a little market going on before the village. So we're gonna check out the scene. Looks like there's a bunch of street food, a bunch of vendors. Uh, I actually need to buy a new pair of sunglasses because I broke my other ones. And definitely need to have sunglasses when you're on the bike. A lot of dust and bugs fly on my face. It's no fun. And we got to get some motion sickness pills for Lily. She gets a little sicky on the boat. Poor boo boo. Check out these mini watermelons for only 20 bots. You cannot find this in America for that low of a price. The food here is awesome because it's all like family operated mom and pop shops, you know, family recipes. So it's really freaking good. Look what's going on here, look at this. Yeah, home cooked food. A bag of 40 range free chicken eggs for only 40 baht. That's like a dozen right there, that's crazy. 40 baht. Fresh grilled fish, some bonito. This is what I was catching yesterday. Oh man, look what's going on over here. Ooh, yeah, baby. Look at how deep this is, there's a lot of, man. I wish you could smell all this. The smell is absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. I officially lost Lily. Now, usually I'd be worried, but it's not hard to spot a Guatemalan in Thailand. <laughs> Let's go find Lily. Jeez, check out the size of these freaking tiger prawns. They're big as my hand. Some fresh squid, that is a king mackerel, what I was trying to catch the other day, but we didn't catch any. Awesome fish. Can you guys spot the Guatemalan? Right there, see, there, there's the Guatemalan. Not that hard to spot. Ooh, some fresh crab. This is the coolest crab I've ever seen. If you know what this is called, comment below, please. Some Thai sausage for 10 baht. All this right here is 10 baht. All different kinds of Thai sausages, chicken, pork, beef, good stuff. The produce section, all organic. I got some organic bananas for 22 baht. That's awesome. Way better than Whole Foods, I'm sorry. Getting some fresh jackfruit. Look at this. Look how bright that okay. is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got this whole bag of jackfruit for only 65. I love jackfruit. I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. Say hello. Say hello. Look at these pineapples. They're these mini pineapples, but they're only 10 baht. That's so freaking insane. Hello. <laughs> Check out these cute little pineapples. The size of like, less, smaller than my fist. They're lily size. They're lily size. 30 baht. We got this little pineapple for 30 baht. How does it taste, honey? Wow. Good? 
really good. They're Seriously, not exaggerating. This pineapple tastes like freaking candy. I've never had pineapple with this kind of taste and texture in my life. I mean, the pineapple we have in America does not compare to this. I mean, I know I'm in Thailand, I'm in love with Thailand, but this is like, I wish you can taste this through the lens. It's so freaking good. I want to bring this home with me. This is so good. Seriously, yeah, this is like the best tasting pineapple I've ever had. It is. It's really sweet. I, it tastes like candy. Okay. All right, we've been in Saladan Village for two or three hours, not four or five hours. And we drank a couple of coconuts and we spent a lot of time talking to the locals to figure out the activities that we're gonna do in the next few days. So we got a bunch of stuff lined up. We're super duper excited. Stay tuned because the next five, six days are gonna be pretty cool. We got a lot of exciting adventures lined up. Gonna do a lot more exploring in this island and we're actually gonna be jumping and hopping to other islands and checking out other islands. There's so many little islands here around Kolanta and Krabi. So we're gonna have a blast. Make sure you stay tuned, like, subscribe, and we're gonna have a long drive home. So we're gonna end this vlog now. Bye bye.